What's up guys, Joe at Momentum Works. Today I am going to show you how to replace a damaged pneumatic actuator. Stay tuned. First thing we need to do is figure out how far we need to put the threaded adapter back on. So you can either measure the threads with a set of calipers or just count the threads. It's important to do this correctly because if we set this rod at the wrong length, we either have too much boost pressure or not enough. Here's an alternate view of that same thing we were looking at. Next thing you want to do is pull this C-clip off. This is where the actuator rod actually holds on to the actuator trap door that's inside the turbine housing. This part's pretty self-explanatory. You want to go ahead and pull these bolts out so that you can remove the actuator head from the turbo. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove these three bolts to pull the bracket off the turbine housing so that we can pull this whole apparatus off. Go ahead and grab your replacement actuator. I opted for another genuine Garrett stock replacement actuator since this is just a stock turbo and we're not gonna crank up the boost. Make sure you match them up in the nipples in the correct location or it's going to be difficult to put your line back on. Make sure you have these threads measured or counted before you move to the next step. In order to get the end off the rod, I put the rod in the vise there to keep it from spinning, otherwise it will spin in the head. So go ahead and make sure you put your heat shield on first before you put that rod end on. Sorry guys, I forgot to film a step. I had to screw the rod end onto the actuator. This is where you want to make sure that you're either going by the measurement you took or you counted the threads to make sure that you get the correct overall length. Uh, here you can see I'm putting the nuts back on or the, the, uh, the actuator head to the bracket so that we can get ready to put this on the turbo. Easily the most difficult part now, you want to put this actuator end onto where the trap door is. You're going to stick a screwdriver in the threaded holes and pry it up and throw a bolt in. Here's the finished product guys. Any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. 